Hello everyone and welcome back to Resident Evil 3. Jill has infiltrated Nest 2, an, um, um, an umbrella facility located beneath Raccoon City in hopes of preventing the destruction of Raccoon City. There she hopes to find a bargaining chip to give to the government and T-Virus vaccine. However, this already difficult task has been compounded by the reappearance of the seemingly immortal creature pursuing her. It will stop at nothing in an attempt to defeat her. <laughs> I thought it get started. Got chip dust on my teeth. I forgot to get a drink. Fuck. I'll get one after this. Okay. Two green, the first. Um, I'll pause it. You. Okay. Let us go. I thought it was in danger. I was like, I'm only in caution. Where's the uh, oopy goopy monster? Oh, where are we going? Get the vaccine. Oh my god. Isaac Graves Diary. The way we... Oh, Jesus, sorry. Pay was generous, the benefits were good. Most importantly, they promised me I'd be contributing to state-of-the-art medical tech research. For a university teacher stuck working in nowhere America, it was a golden opportunity, like winning the lottery. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. So I went for it. I made the pitch to my family and we agreed to move here to Raccoon City. Well, hindsight is 2020 because this lab is a den of monsters who conduct cruel and barbaric experiments for the sole purpose of taking human life in the most sickening way possible. It's messed up. The world needs to know. But every time I work up enough courage to blow the whistle, I think of Penny and Casey and immediately chicken out. Umbrella owns this town. There was this guy they caught trying to smuggle out company secrets. They essentially fed him to one of the betas. Fed him. I saw the whole thing. I got my wife and daughter into this. I just need to do my job. Do as I'm told for their sake. But let this be a testament to what I that I do that I do have a conscience and that I've learned my lesson. Oh, shit. I go, bitch. You hear it bobbling? I do. Would I have to like throw a grenade back there? Oh, that's whack. This is a big fucking room. I don't like big rooms like this. <clears throat> you did. on vaccine synthesis. On the roles of antigens and adjuvants and vaccine synthesis, Dr. Nathaniel Barr, chief researcher at Spencer Memorial Hospital, to most efficiently synthesize a vaccine, both an antigen and an adjuvant, I don't know that word, are required. The antigen produces an immune response while the adjuvant increases the effects of such responses, leading to an increase, leading to increased antibody production. By combining samples of these ingredients, one can create a potent vaccine base. 
By processing this vaccine based with our proprietary equipment, a larger batch of vaccine can be created with astonishing ease. What's more, my latest antigen and juvent samples yield unprecedented rates of antibody production, producing more than 1,000 times the yield of traditional materials. This not only makes it an effective vaccine, but also a potential way to eliminate existing infections. I need what? I need an antigen and an adjuvant. It is really fucking dark in here, dude. What the hell is this? Override key successfully generated. Hey. What have we here? Override key removed. Flash drive. Emergency security key used in Nest 2 allows employees to override security protocols in the event of emergency evacuation. A flash drive? Is an override key? Have a grenade to throw back there? Oh, sure don't. Oh, well. Goopy goopy monster! Oh my god, there's a lot. Okay. There's probably a lot of shit down there. Oh no. Culture sample. Oh, an antigen sample. I'll definitely need this for the vaccine. Oh shit. The door really fucking open. The door really fucking open. Ooh, bitch! Weaponry authorization request. Dear Dr. Emerson, I would like to nor formally request that the weaponry normally reserved for the bioweapon synthesis team be made available for any employees inter interfacing with the admission and dismissal of test subjects. These test subjects do not present the same levels of danger as our bioweapon products, but I believe that this weaponry authorization is advisable as outlined below. Recently, some test subjects have developed a new mutagen, mutagen, mutation granting them very high regrowth abilities. Our team refers to these specimens as pale heads. Oh, so the oopy goopy monsters are pale heads? Okay. They have been appearing with regular regularity, but the specific cause has not yet been determined. The staunching rate at which these pale heads regenerate makes it difficult to deliver a lethal blow with standard weaponry. If any sort of system failure were to occur within our facility, we would be woefully underprepared to defend ourselves. For this reason, I would like to request that high-powered weaponry capable of subduing the pale heads be issued to all of our employees working in shipping and processing. This will ensure that in the event of an emergency, we will be able to quickly eliminate the threat and evacuate safely. Thank you very much for your consideration. Shipping and processing manager, Gabrielle Reed. What's that? Oh, hey. The oopy goopy monster's gone. Pick up the ammo, dude. What you doing? Okay. Um, let me examine this. An inert T virus sample, key agent for antibody production used to synthesize a vaccine. I like when you shake it, the it moves. Alright, so let's go put that in the uh, thing. Oh! 
Oh, fuck! Get off me! Oopy Goopy Monster! Ah! Get, get off me! Bad, bad zombie. Bad monster. Pick up the, thank you, shipping notice. Cargo Nemesis shipping route CDG to JFK to RC. Shipping date September 1st, 1998. Shipment type class 1 hazardous materials. Additional notes all transit within the United States is to be made via the helicopter. Take a stream carry during takeoff and landing as shock to the parcel may potentially lead to self activation. Oh, damn. We here at the European branch are excited to hear your thoughts and evaluation of this newest prototype and are pleased to offer this specimen to you for testing. It has been through numerous trials and possesses incredible destructive powers, so please exercise extreme caution when using it. Lead developer, Dr. Herman Frankel. Oh, Dr. Herman, huh? Ooh! A whole two shotgun shells, nice. Oh god. Oh dear lord. Woo! Yeah, boy. Fuck. Hold on. I damn. I gotta go back to the box. Um. Fuck. Hold on. Hey, homie. I know you. Oh, he's dead. What's this? Woo! Acid rounds. Goopy goopy monsters! Oh fuck! Get god damn! Two bites put me in danger? That's fucking whack as hell. Excuse me. Thank you. Oh, wrong way. Two bites put me in danger? That's fucking gay. I can get a high grade gunpowder again. I can fucking make more shotgun ammo. Let's go deposit the uh, antibody or antigen, whatever. Unauthorized materials detected. What? Got this wrong, or I'm missing a step. Oh. the hell? <laughs> what the? But then I die, holy fucking shit. I need y'all to separate. I need. God damn it! Fuck off me. I hit the button. Fuck off, bro. I hit the fucking button. This game is so full of shit. Oh! What the fuck? There goes all my fucking health. Literally all of it. Just gone. What do you got? You wanna pick it up? Thank you. Scientist dying message. It's happened. Our worst case scenario. The T-virus has somehow leaked. Under orders from Dr. Bard, I'm to manufacture mass quantities of the vaccine. I prepared a culture for the T-virus antigen, and I just need to combine it with an adjuvant to enhance its effects. I should... I should be able to produce enough vaccine to save all the surviving citizens. The adjuvant samples are stored in incubation lab. Test subjects are already wandering the halls, but I better find a way to get some samples while all this culture is maturing. 
<clears throat> if I don't make it back, please complete the synthesis process. Try to find a way to stop this outbreak. It's the least we can do after setting these horror, these horrifying events in motion. Bro, I don't like these oopy goopy monsters. They can suck my fucking wiener. Shields? I don't take that, I guess. This man is still alive? God damn. He's still alive. He's still fucking alive. Holy shit. Alright. Tyrants that they were about to use on everybody. Why do I have a feeling one of these hunters is gonna break out of here? Like, I can't be the only one that thinks that shit, right? Well, something's gonna break out. I can't be the only one that thinks that, right? God damn it! Fuck off me. Alright, you fucking dead, you piece of shit. Hate those ones. Low fine. I will take my low fine gladly. Expression of concern. Senior fellow Dr. Frankel, please allow me to send your my heartfelt congratulations to you and your colleagues at Umbrella Europe for completing Nemesis, a truly remarkable achievement in the field of bioweapons research. Introducing a parasitic organism into a tyrant's brain to gain external control of it? How can I not marvel at such a wild idea? There's a parasite in him? However, from a medical perspective, I must empathetically state my disapproval of this shift away from uh, established Umbrella policy. By turning to the use of parasites, you are setting a dangerous precedent. Viruses can be kept in check. I believe an effective vaccine can be developed for any virus on Earth with an abundant funding and a bounty of samples, of course. Can I... <sighs> Fucking Jesus. Can you say that it's same for parasites, however? Doctors have tried in vain to develop a vaccine for malaria. Parasites like Plasmodium are far more genetically complex than the T-virus, and to think they will submit to control is utter folly. 
Perhaps in your country, consumers are willing to buy automobiles with no brakes, but here in America, they know better. Then again, I recall you have a degree in economics, so no doubt you've already devised a brilliant marketing strategy to win over the naysayers. I look forward to your talk at the forum in Berlin next month. In the meantime, I shall be exploring medical solutions to this hubristic problem you've foisted on us. Sincerely, Dr. Nathaniel Bard, PhD. I don't know why I said doctor. There's no doctor on that, but... Oh, well. You are giving me a lot of explosive shit. I'm not too happy about that. Sweet. An adjuvant sample. Boost the production of antibodies when combined with an antigen used to synthesize vaccine. Vaccine base. This is technically a vaccine, but it needs to be processed for distribution. Perhaps there is equipment for that These purpose. Are combined with antigens to increase immune system response. Alright, let's see what the fuck's gonna wake up. Something's gonna bust out one of these fucking incubation pods. I knew something was gonna bust out of those fucking things. I'm not dumb. This part, on the other hand, is gonna be fucking annoying. God damn, what the fuck? Do I just... Wow, really? That put me in fucking danger? Seriously? Dude! Any day now, you wanna stop biting me? Fucking god damn. This is fucking stupid. I'm dead. Like, there's literally nothing I can do. I can't heal. Ah, damn. Oh, great. Another one. And fucking fantastic. Another goddamn one. Fucking dumb, dude. <clears throat> All right, let's go make a vaccine. I 
don't know, man. Do I have to get him to match? Oh. Oh god. Hi Nemesis. Oh my lord. Escape the facility. Oh. Don't mind if I fucking do. Anything? Nope. I like how miraculously that didn't hurt her at all. Oh! Let go of me, you fucker. Let go! I'm not into that fucking tentacle shit. Come on, Jill. Oh! Well, that's one way of getting out. We just keep pissing him off, don't we? Oh god, they're giving me a lot of shit. I think I know what's coming. They're giving me quite a lot of ammo. Yeah, I think I know what's coming. Oh, bitch. Fuck! Hold on. Okay, I'll grab you. Can I make this high grade gunpowder with anything? Oh, hell yeah. Fuck. Okay, hold on. Nope, oh, not that. That. Damn, dude! Okay, hold on. Store that. Let's grab you. Hold on. Nope, oh, not that. Store those. Put you up there. Okay, yeah, what does explosive A make? Explosive rounds. We make a uh, green and red. Damn, my box got empty real fucking quick. Jesus. Alright, is that everything? Make sure I'm all good. I only got three of these. Damn, I got a lot of ammo. Alright, let's see. I think I know what's coming. Final boss, probably. Alrighty, let's go do this shit. 